Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to draw the isometric cube. So what is isometric exactly? Well, let's just keep it simple and say that isometric is the representation of a three-dimensional object on a two-dimensional plane. The height of the objects are drawn vertically. The length and width are drawn on two lines at 30 degrees to the horizontal. Isometric drawings do not take into account perspective. In other words, in isometric drawings, things do not appear smaller when they are further away, and they do not appear larger when they are closer. So, let's get started. The first thing I do is I draw a line. I want to hold shift to constrain the angle of the line. I want to draw this line at 30 degrees. Let's use the measurement tool to make sure this is OK. Next, I draw another line at 30 degrees, but facing the other way. After that, let's go to the assistant tool and let's pick parallel ruler. We want to place this line vertically. We can use the edge of the canvas to make sure that the line is more or less vertical. And we can also use the two diagonal lines which we drew earlier to put in two more assistants. If we don't place the line quite right, we can always adjust it by moving these circles. And let's move these lines out of the way so that they do not bother us in the future. Next, I'm going to sketch in the sides of the cube. Pick the right brush and color. And make sure the assistant is set to maximum. It can be tricky to make sure that you draw along the right axis. That's why it's a bad idea to have too many assistants active at the same time. After that, we are going to pick the measurement tool. We want the cube to be 500 pixels wide. So we use the measurement tool to mark out the corners at 500 pixels. And then we draw in the remaining edges. When we are done with that, we want to uh, clean up the inside corners with the eraser. We should make the background invisible so that it doesn't interfere with the selection tool. We use the contiguous selection tool to select the front face.
The front face we color in dark gray. The side face we color in lighter gray and the top face we color in an even lighter gray. Next is time to add a circular hole. A circle projected to one of the isoplanes becomes an ellipse. So let's use the ellipse assistance tool to draw an ellipse of the right proportions. We make the major diameter from the two corners of the one of the faces of the cube. And we make the minor diameter from the remaining two corners. Now let's add in a new layer. And draw in the ellipse. When we're done, we are going to resize it. Use the transformation tool. Use shift to keep the width and the height ratio constant and use alt to resize about the center of the object. And let's shrink it to the right size. Then use the contiguous selection tool to select the circle. And we are going to fill the selection up with a gradient. We want to set the top part of the gradient to be dark because it's in the shadow. And the bottom part will be light because that's being lit up by the, amp by the surrounding lighting. And there we have it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next time. Bye bye.